this adventure with MP Paranormal, Brian and Dylan find themselves drawn to Gainesville, Texas at 410 North Denton Street. This old school white Victorian sits on the corner lot like a shadow, waiting to pounce. Neighbors utter rumors of a purported haunting in this massive dwelling. The biggest attraction being the ladies of the evening and a few sultry cowboy characters. Previous investigators have also encountered a more authoritarian force trying its hardest to scare them out of the house. An exposed active well inside of the home may also explain the high number of reported spirit sightings at this location. No hard evidence supporting the alleged haunting can back up the house's claim for paranormal activity. The history of Gainesville may be able to explain this mystery. Founded in 1841, W.S. Peters and Associates squared away 640 acres of land for Central Texas expansion. This came with the constant threat of Native American attacks, requiring military protection around the clock. Cook County came from William G. Cook, a hero of the Texas War of Independence. During the Civil War, something known as the Great Hanging occurred, a highly controversial and visceral execution of 14 suspected Union Loyalists brought the new town of Gainesville into national scrutiny. A decade after the Civil War, Gainesville saw massive expansion due to Texas's thriving cattle industry. Two cattle trails flanked Gainesville, the Chisholm Trail and the Shawnee Trail, which made Gainesville an iconic cowboy destination, complete with saloons, supplies, gambling, and visiting soiled doves for the evening. On June 22, 1878, railroad laborers from the Denison and Pacific Railway laid the first rails from Denison to Gainesville. On November 7, 1879, people from all over Texas came to witness the first locomotive in Gainesville. The railroad sits just behind the house, which is still highly active to this very day. Now. Brian and Dylan will insert themselves into this ominous space for 17 hours and potentially risk their lives to unveil the entities which may lie in wait behind any lurking corner. Just shortly after me and Dylan had finished an underwhelming fast food dinner, we heard an opposing set of phantom footsteps cross the threshold into the warmer, safer living room area. Feeling threatened, the power then immediately went out, casting the house in absolute darkness. Scrambling to get audio and visual set up, we started recording immediately to begin documenting the evidence that was being thrown at us. We had some serious audio-visual difficulties until our camera finally starts recording properly. Almost as if, whatever was there with us did not want to be documented. Technical difficulties, but we're good. Back here. So that's the murder room. Uh, connects are on the other side. Yeah. You want to go there first? You want to go up? Uh, uh, well, what leads that way? Around? This way? Yeah. Yeah. I just want to read the downstairs. Where's that well? I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm looking at an empty well. Oh, it's got plexiglass over it. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, there's water down at the bottom. about this room. I mean, I see that it's the murder room, but... Okay, pretty, pretty... The kitchen had the highest... Did both staircases lead to the same... 6.2, 4 .9. Hey, Ooh, it now just, it's gone. Here, look, that was the max. That was 27? The, that was the max that it hit, bro. I wasn't even paying attention. The reason this is profound is spirits are alleged to exist in the electromagnetic frequency. A reading of 27.64 milligauss is extremely undeniable in terms of electromagnetic readings. 
considering the power was completely out in the residence at the time, there is no logical explanation to provide for the unnaturally high reading. This leads us to believe that a spirit was amongst our presence at the time. Oh, Hold on. I got chills too. I'm going to reset it. Then reset. Let's follow this wire. Yeah. That is strange. That was a massive spike. That is massive. Linda texted me back. Did you notice if any electric heaters are plugged in? Also, the breaker is outside the kitchen. Take a flashlight. Don't run the coffee makers at the same time or the coffee maker and electric heater at the same time. So we flip the breaker now. Yeah, I have no explanation for that. I mean, it's nowhere even near. I mean, that was a huge spike. 27 milliamps. I wonder what that was. Something go by us, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, well, this is a pretty central area right I mean, here. That's a, that's a prominent spike, though, man. That is, that's well, nice. I'm not going to say anything now, but it makes sense to me. What? That's where Roy lives, in here. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah. Huh. Right as I said his name, I got like, like a shock wave of energy. Uh, you, I feel like he's behind me, dude. Something's like, yeah, you know I'm here. Is that and, you, the one they called Roy? That we caught on the meter here? The Santa always gives me like terrible vibes. <laughs> is this the closet you were talking about? No. Or this closet? That one don't open. It's this one right here. He comes in and out of these doors that I've seen. Getting like pretty bad level of anxiety right now. Yeah, he must have moved past this or something to cause that big of a spike. Like we were. It, Something moved past like us. Like he was here and then we flushed him out and he moved somewhere else. Alright, well, 27, that's pretty fucking interesting. Is this a fireplace room or is that upstairs? That is one fireplace and it, I think it has the same chute that goes upstairs. Had to have been like the, huh? Cause I turned it off and reset. Oh, I'll hit it again. Yeah, see, it did it again. It's still a seven. Cause it shoots wires. Could be. No. Nope. <laughs> what are these ones? Camera. No. Okay. It's right here. Like it's it was a it's four, transient. yeah, or five. Is it your camera? Hold on. Nah, it's not your camera. Huh? It's coming from in here. Three point two, four point nine six, seven point six eight, thirteen point ten, ninety-seven point five one, seventy-one point seven seven. No way. That was eleven. You said ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. Wouldn't you get like electrocuted? No. That's. Fun. A 97.51 milligauss reading is the equivalent of 9,700 times the normal level of day-to-day -day electromagnetic field readings. Please note that the normal daily reading of a typical house is 0.4 to 0.5 milligauss. Yeah, well, just try to disprove this. There's ground wires. Down towards the floor with it. 0.48.50. The power's off. If there is no power in the house. There's no power. So why are we we're here worrying about the power that doesn't exist? 6.7. 7. Oh, that's just a bunch of weird. 14.3. 14. 
Eleven. It's these dolls, bro. I don't touch them. If you get near these dolls, they tend to get a little mean. I'm just pulling out my pocket. Yeah? Yeah. Unless it's just my phone being heavy, but it didn't feel that heavy before. Something's following us around is what it's doing. Because the baseline of the house is a 0.6 to a 0.9. Just anywhere that you go. You can tell that it doesn't really change. It's very stable. Oh, then this goes downstairs. Okay. The sound you just heard came from neither me nor Dylan at the time. Listen again as you hear an aggressive exhale of breath. This will make more sense in a few seconds with what Dylan will later objectively experience. Yeah. Who's following us around? I felt like something just said something behind me. It was kind of... I just heard a male's voice go... <sighs> yeah, no, it was behind me. I heard it and it was right behind me. That actually startled me. It came from like right here. What was that? Who's trying to communicate right now? It didn't feel good. I'll tell you that much. No. I'm getting a pain in my lower back. Something breathing on my face? Is there airflow in here? There's no power. There is no, no air, central. No airflow. I don't know why there would be. I feel like something like... Like right here. Damn. All right. Well, who are you? Do not. I don't feel like I can expose my back right yeah, now. Yeah, it feels a little dangerous. It feels like something's not. No, because my my lower back started to hurt just a little bit. So I don't know if he's trying to go in for a sucker punch. You just said my. I just heard my name in audio. It said Brian. We're going to run back that whisper again. What is fascinating is that this is not electronic voice phenomenon, otherwise known as an EVP. This falls into the classification of a Class A audible voice phenomenon, otherwise known as an AVP. What adds to the level of intensity here is that AVPs require a higher use of energy from a spirit, which makes sense given the abnormally high EMF readings we were receiving. The level of intelligence I detect in the whisper as the spirit says my first name very clearly only adds to the fact that we are dealing with something very intelligent. Listen closely. What? 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 I need to run that back, but... Are you saying my name? Say it again. I just heard it. Again. That was a car. Although Dylan said he heard something, on my audio it was clearly a neighbor locking their car, contaminating our audio. I heard a car honk. Honk? No, no, no maybe. I, don't know. I heard something though. Once again, almost with no breaks in between, we captured this time an EVP that we did not hear at the time. We think we hear it say, behind you, but we will let you be the judge. Whatever has been following us around clearly sends its message to this EVP. We think we hear a whisper say, get out, or a high-pitched snarl, but we will let you decide. Infrared's on. Who's following us around? Say something. You heard that knock? Yeah. Bang harder. Was, it, was that you? No. Oh, maybe. Let me, get, let, let me find a spot to stand that's not like... Put my back in a corner because I don't feel really safe in here. All right, now I'm posed, I'm completely posted up. It was at this point we encountered our first of many light anomalies for the evening. 
If you look closely, this anomaly forms a very disturbing shape. We believe we see a face inside seeming to have gnarled teeth, but we will let you decide. Okay, I'm just gonna stand. Now watch again as we slow this clip down so you can see this light anomaly more clearly. Now we will freeze the image so you can see the face we spoke of earlier. You're not a very nice spirit. The vibe in here is not good. Not good. No, not good. Not good. You're not very nice. Footsteps. Say your name. What was that? I didn't hear it. You have the ears on. It was a little girl or something. I don't know. It sounded really uncanny, though. Say it louder, please. I feel better now. I think I backed off. Bang on something. Knock. You heard that? Mm -hmm. Who are you? I'm in a shift right now. I gotta shift this energy to the tents. What are you? There's a massive blackness just absorbing all the light, even though that window's open. Infrared's not picking it up, but I can't see anything in front of me. Is that a negative energy blocking out all the light? What was that, dude? That was like clicking of fingers on the wall. Holy shit. <laughs> that scared me. Blur. Right here on the tile, it was like, yeah, it sounded like that, it was like, That was, that made me jump back, dude. dude. Something was like right here, man. No, I know. I was, I was like standing, I was like standing on the, the, uh, the wall like this, but I was just like, I was like, I gotta fucking shift. This is, huh, so far so good though. This place is interesting. Very, very potent energy. Wow. Well, I'm happy. Yeah, no shit, nobody lives here, man. Good grief. This is the uh, the bedroom with the uh, alleged portal. Now I don't know. Let's just let me look downstairs. Hmm. Who's down there? Hmm. Ain't something moving downstairs. The alleged portal. Yeah, I don't know if it's this fireplace or if it's this closet. Oh, she removed the TV with the static. That's such a bummer. I like that TV. I feel like it added to activity because it added like, it could, it was like a static clean. I almost don't want to lead the way, dude. <laughs> uh, this feels awful right now. I guess we'll come down this way. Oh, and in here is the, uh, Shift scrying there. We'll try that out later. Just heard this weird. It was like a cat. I heard something. I just it was wasn't like, sure what it was. It was like. Hmm. Well, we can definitively say that. <coughs> this there's a spider dangling in my face. I almost ate it. Yeah, I can't 
asking how they do that. I'm like, why didn't they take a picture of that? What was that? I don't know. There's like this weirdness in front of me. It was like, you know when you stare at a light bulb for too long? Yeah. And like, it's just kind of there. It was something that was here for a split second. I'm so dumb, dude. Why didn't I take a picture of that 90s? I was so excited to see it. I, I got it. All right, good. Yeah, yeah. I, got that. I was like, that was so odd. I feel like my back is very vulnerable right now. Yeah, if you're not paying attention, you catch a wire to the neck. Yeah. Oh, the. I just heard something. It was like a stomach rumbling. Does your stomach rumble? Nah. Are you getting that fluctuation? Yeah, I'm staring. I'm pointing. Dude, me. that's so f odd. That is so odd. I mean, spiking up to, what, what was that? 47. Again, dude, it's just like, that is so weird. What is up with that? That is no power on and right back to well, baseline. Yeah, the power went out I for know. anyone who's going to watch this. We don't have any power in the house because I think we tripped a circuit. After so much activity and feeling a high spiritual energy all around us, we decided to take a short break in the kitchen to discuss the events that had unfolded thus far. After this break, we decided to head to the poker room where the house's original well resides, a well that is believed to be a portal to hell. You have a very obvious presence to you that we felt upstairs. Pretty indicative to something negative. Take a couple pictures back there if you're alright with that. Residual conversation. Hmm. Y'all got anything to say? Can you guys be audible? You're visual. Can you be audible? His fingers are on the door again, dude. I heard a belch. I just exhaled and belch. Okay. There's stuff happening all around us. Wait, I keep hearing the stairs creak over there. I don't know if it's just a creaky house or... I wish it wasn't a psychic thing. I wish the cameras would pick it up. Let's switch. Let's uh, go sit in this room. In the murder room? Yeah. All right, we're entering your space. Well, I just got so dizzy right there. Are 
Reminds me of Disneyland. Maybe the chair isn't the quietest option. The couch is better. Switch over to that. Oh boy. where we were sitting now. Mm -hmm. You see it? I hear it. What do you hear? Let me switch to the couch. I think it's a bit better. But... I just heard the floorboards creak as soon as we move. Really... Now I can kind of see it towards where the well is. More comfortable as well. After spending 30 minutes in the murder room, we received no further activity aside from that single EVP. We decided at this time that we should head outside and access the breaker and restore power to the home. Yeah, it says it's outside of the kitchen, so. Like in the house? I think it's outside. She said bring a flashlight. So. Sorry. Oh, yeah, it is surely. Um, surely. You feel better now? It said it's outside of the kitchen. Could be it. That's screwed in. Um. And the kitchen's over here, so. the one that's not on. They're all on. Let me check my messages real quick. On, on, on. So the breaker is outside the kitchen. Take a flashlight. Don't run. She didn't say which one. That's it. So turn it off all the way and then force it back on. There yeah. Go. I'll do it. I'll do it. You know, I've never actually walked at all outside this house and it's very cold tonight for Texas. It's just, the weather just kind of shifted tonight, which is interesting. I never stepped foot back here. Look at the architecture of it. From yeah. this angle, it's actually really bizarre. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Yeah, it's such a. I've it's never seen right a house floor. like that. Yeah. Huh. This brings us to the end of part one of our investigation of Hill House Manor in Gainesville, Texas. In part two of this series, we return back into the shadow of a home where we have no idea what lies in wait. What we do know is the night will surely be full of more bizarre and intense paranormal activity. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.